morning well it's um 20 past six i wanted to see if i could catch the sunrise and well, let's go have a look oh i must be really high up <laughs> well that was anticlimactic Just look at the state of my tent. How the fuck did I sleep in that? Look! <laughs> look! Although, to be fair, right, this looks like soil. It ain't. It's solid, it's just, it, it, it's rot. So trying to get the tent pegs in. It's a bit of a, a bit of a myth. Okay. On the road. just realized that my phone is in my pocket this whole time. <laughs> Luckily, it's waterproof. We've got Apple to thank for that at least. Thank you very much. Apple for making the iPhone 7 waterproof. Appreciate that one. Cheers, mate. I like that. That was good. Good. Next. I've been left here at uh, Cachassel. Still trying to nail it. Cachassel. 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 It is literally a tiny, tiny village up in the mountains in the middle of nowhere. Hello. ¿Cómo se llama? Nome? Dia. Yeah. Dia. Leo. That's it. Daria. 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 Ciao! <laughs> Am I funny? <laughs>
free accommodation. Kashasa definitely seems to be somewhere for hikers to come and visit. There's so many routes to explore, mountains to climb. The town, it's, it's small and lovely, but I think if you're gonna come here, it's for this. In a while since I've climbed a tree. If you like hiking, then you definitely have to get a ride up to Kachasau. Kachasau. One day I'm getting ailing, just maybe not today. Oh, that wind! Come on! Ooh. I know. Alan! Alan! So today we're going to check out a bit of their capital. Let's go. So this is the main strip leading up to the square at the bottom there. As you can see, it's covered in flowers along the middle. And we are a little bit ahead of season. I think their season is May, June time. That's when everything really starts to blossom. But just imagine this, all fully grown, fully in bloom, colors, bright, vibrant, lovely. So this is the main square. This is where all the magic happens. Got some of these. Can't go wrong with a banana, can you? Diet of rice, bananas and tuna. I want to be really honest with you on these vlogs about each island that I go to. I like it here. I do. It's got a naivety about it. People are friendly. That's really what makes it for me. A lot of them speak English, so I didn't want to speak badly about Brava in the middle of <laughs> hometown. So I thought I'll just I'll wait until I get my bag and then I'll carry on. So look, don't get me wrong. It's a beautiful island. There's lots of stuff to do here, lots of stuff to, to see, especially for the hikers. Uh, if you like swimming and things, there's lots of cool places to go swimming. So it's worth coming here. I just, I don't know. It just feels so isolated. Yeah, it's great for someone that's visiting. You see it, do your thing, and then you fuck off. But I think living here, I, I think living here is hard, really hard. But look, I have to give it to the people of Brava. They have a resilience about them that I've just never seen before. And they're, they're so happy and so friendly. They're all smiling. Mm -hmm. 